Assalamu alaikum students dear students today we are going to start chapter 11 uh, of our book file management so we open our book practical section and chapter practical section file management in this chapter what we discuss how to manage the files so how we locate our store files for example in my computer i open my pc and here you can see in my pc are two drives c and d and i can open my software from this folder my work from this folder music in this folder so we have to manage and store all the files in a proper folder we also learn open and import files of different types save the files in a radical order we also learn how to create a folder and how to save the files in that folders in this chapter we discuss some generic files and non generic files and the major thing that we are going to learn in this chapter that is our file extensions every file have a two parts in their name first is the file name and second is their extension and what is the extension we have to know about it basically extension tells you in which program you have to open that file every file that you create in your documents like you are going to create a file in microsoft word the extension is docx so every file that you see in your computer having its extension and some extension is a generic extension generic files we call them these files you can open without any software in any device for example txt this is a notepad file and you can open in your mobile phone your computer and anywhere pdf this is a portable document file and this is a you can open also in the mobile and your smartphones and other devices tablets your pc your mac everywhere you can open this device and you have to not to install any uh, separate special software for this but in non generic files for example microsoft word file, file microsoft powerpoint file a microsoft database uh, microsoft access you have to install the prop, uh, uh, appropriate software to open that files. So, uh, generic files are uh, you can open without any software. In this file, in this uh, chapter, we are having only only one source file. That name is remora.jpg. JPG is a uh, our picture extension and only one picture file is given to you for practice of task A and task B task 11A task 11B we also do this task in today lecture so manage file effectively how we can manage file effectively on our HDD and solid state drive SSD we have to save our files in appropriate folder in a proper manner so for example I am going to do a work so I create a special folder for that and I save that file in that folder. So file explorer give us uh, option to save these files window E you can press and a search button is also given here when you are going to search the file any you can search any app any program or any file from the search. Okay students, task 11a, this task give us how we can create a folder and how we can save our files in our appropriate folder. So I am going to open uh, my computer RD drive. So in task given us create a new folder, store your work for this chapter call this folder name chapter 11 create a new two subfolders source files and a second folder worked so first of all i do this task i create here a new folder 
and give the name chapter 11 and uh, in the this inside this chapter 11 I create a folder source files and uh, an other folder worked next part of this task is open the file remora in any graphic package graphic package means you can open this folder uh, uh, picture file paint in adobe photoshop and any software save the image remora in your source file so i'm not going to save uh, using the adobe photoshop i just copy this file from my source file folder of chapter 11 to my source folder here so this was our chapter task 11a that we completed it task 11b added the source file folder created task 11a so that date the file was created number one date date of the file that was created and the image dimensions are displayed take a screenshot of this folder and save this in work folder so we have to get the screenshot of our file that we save in it and they mention the date of the file and uh, dimensions of the file also display in your screenshot so we open this folder that we save here and uh, here size is given type is given date is given here uh, dimensions is not given here and uh, here is a path or address of the file uh, chapter 11 source files and remover.jpg so click on the view this is also a detail view and uh, in content view you can see dimensions and uh, also date taken and uh, here this okay so you how to get the screenshot you simply can press windows shift s and uh, uh, the best method is you open snipping tool and uh, you take the image like screenshot of this in this screenshot you can see a uh, date of taken i just copy paste so date is uh, in 2009 but you save this file in a new uh, as a new uh, picture so uh, your current date appear here and uh, dimensions is here and uh, path is here so I save this file in our work folder and uh, give any name normally you can give the name of your candidate number in uh, your Cambridge exams when you are going to save any uh, file but uh, if uh, evidence file is given uh, in Microsoft Word format you copy paste in the screenshots in your evidence files so I just uh, capture PNG name give the and save the file in the work here is the evidence file here is the screenshot screenshot methods are different and you can tie, uh, use any type of any method of screenshot uh, taking so this is our task 11b that we completed hopefully you understand this here are some generic files uh, that we discuss in this chapter and learn in this chapter. First of all, comma separated values. And normally, this file is given to you in your source folders and uh, source file CSV, uh, steric dot CSV. And uh, like I open your book source files, order third edition and uh, here i go with the chapter 14 
the here this these files are RTF format, rich text format of Microsoft Word. You can open uh, my, in Microsoft Word or any word processor. Chapter 19 is our uh, Excel, and uh, in this you can see chapter 18. Ah, 18. Here are the CSV files: car dot CSV. Uh, customer dot csv so the uh, normally this csv file you can you use in your practicals in microsoft of excel and microsoft access and uh, chapter 21 this is containing htm css png uh, jpg css many files so these are the web web files and uh, we use these files uh, these are the non-generic files and we discussed these files also uh, like CSS preceding style sheet we learn about this in detail in chapter 21 RER or zip file normally when you get the book or any download the software you get that software in raw format and you have to extract this in uh, uh, extract basically this is a compressed folder and you we have to extract into a files then we you we can use it we can use to extract this RAR uh, we use uh, software win RAR win zip or salmon zip so you can install any software on your computer so we use this compression for reducing the file size image and uh, we also uh, use to for example in a folder we are having a 100 files or 200 files and we make a single file uh, RAR a zip file and we copy a single file from one USB to any other drive and other media we can copy easily a second best uh, benefit of RAR a zip file is this when you compress this file and single file a virus cannot destruct your all files only uh, this uh, uh, zip file protect your all other files so uh, compression is uh, we used how to compress this file this is very easy uh, I am using 7 zip and uh, Windows original. For example, we have to compress these all files. You control A, select all files, right click and uh, add to archive. So make a single file. You just click on OK button and this is make the chapter 21.zip. If you are going to make zip file, RAR file, you can use from here any other format of the compression. So this is also non-generic part. Zip is a generic and RAR and a DAR other uh, compression files are uh, non-generic. So the assignment you have to do, you have to open your computer by computer and you see many files and you just click on right click on the and go to properties of that file and you uh, write down on your notebook the extension of the file and in which software we are going to open that uh, file file when you save file, file for example I save the file from the Adobe Illustrator the extension is AI and when I save the file from the Photoshop the extension is PSD PSD mean Photoshop document so every program in which that file we are going to create that program gives the extension of that file so hopefully you understand the lesson and if any question you can ask from me anytime thanks for watching goodbye